In our previous video, we were happy to report that the trusses for our roof had arrived and since then, the progress on our home has been moving pretty nice. And as you can see, here is all the plywood needed for the roof and it is from Home Depot. And I'm no expert, but I believe this is the HVAC system in our attic. And let's go inside and take a look at what they've done. It is such an eye-opener to see the house with no roof, but once all is done, it will look like a brand new house. Although the drywalls and ceiling have been stripped completely due to water damage and mold. If you guys are wondering what happened, well, a few massive oak trees fell on our home during a couple of storms last year. Yep, and it's actually great looking out and knowing there aren't any more trees near the house. Those trees were beautiful, but man, it always created an environment for mold to grow. And because our house is a stick house, it's even worse. It's always exciting to come here every day to see the progress. It's super exciting and shout out to Tower Hill Insurance for making this process less complicated. I've heard some horror stories out there, but so far, so good. We can't wait to see everything complete soon and we'll keep you all updated. We've got a lot of work to do in the next few months and we have some great news to share with everyone by that time. My poor flower beds. Took a while, but I got my first flowers on here. It's beautiful. Do you need to use the bathroom? There's a toilet right here. He says no. So today we have some small DIY projects to tackle. First, we're building a mini golf course for our Florida Hmong community carnival since Easter is just around the corner. And secondly, we're going to be building a new wishing well for our water pump. How long is this? Um, three, foot by eight. three by eight. Looks like it's like minty color. All right, it's all painted. It looks good. Now we're going to go ahead and attach T here. We're moving pretty quick. So we're gonna throw some green outdoor carpet out here, on here. Well, look at our carnival golf course for the kids for Easter. That is so awesome. It looks so good. Project one is complete. And before we start our second project, we went out for tacos, and this is our favorite local spot. All right, it's gonna be my turn. Mama has some here too. Yeah. Oh. Yum yum yum. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're gonna go dumpster diving for our next project. This is the old wishing well that was damaged by the storm. And we're gonna make it all brand new and pretty.
We got some old fence panels in the back and we're gonna repurpose them for the fishing well. Cut all these pieces off and now we've got some clean cut for the wall. Looks pretty good. I like how it has different like shades of Got the second wall done. What about the mulberry bush? Oh. Mulberries. This is where we keep our good fence panels that we actually had from our glamping site. Marketplace. It's from Facebook Marketplace. They're reclaimed fence boards that somebody we found out in Tampa did not want. Back, we're going to tackle the last two walls and then we'll figure out the roof. Great, we need one more wall. So we're gonna use the rest of these. All right, I'm pretty proud we can build a box with our basic skills. What do you think? It's gonna be an outdoor box for our well pump. Doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. It looks fine. Seeing our home stripped from its roof, walls, and contents has given us a different perspective of life. It has made us more resilient to change and the unexpected. It also gave us hope for a much better future ahead. Once all is done, we'll look forward to a new journey. Okay, so we got orange, pink, vanilla, blue. 